so I've been going back and I've been watching some Delphi videos and you know Zav Girl uh, Incog uh, I think their last videos they were doing Chris Watts and uh, it just seems to me that as of right now Delphi is about as cold as you can get and I talked to my mother-in-law yesterday about this case because she'd never heard of it so she started asking me questions and of course the questions that she was asking were the same questions that we all asking How were these girls murdered? Don't know. Were they raped? Don't know. Then, they have video. Yep. They have audio. Yep. They got witnesses. They seen the guy. Yep. And it's been almost four years. Yep. Something don't sound right. No shit. Bridge guy is a bitch. Alright. By every sense of the imagination, he is a bitch. Alright. Uh this guy got lucky. Uh, like I've said before, he's unremarkable. He flew under everybody's radar. And I went into this video knowing that I'm probably fixing to piss off half of the people that cover Delphi. And that's fine. I'm not doing this for people to like me. This is basically therapy for me. Just give me something else to do. I'm blaming the cops. Y'all blame who you want to. Of course, the cops didn't kill Libby and Abby. But they showed and help none. Told Blazenby he should have been fired as soon as he called off the search. It's dark. It's cold. Yeah, that's kind of when you don't want two girls out there by their fucking selves. One of them's mama said. She's scared of the dark. Don't like to be outside in the dark. Don't you think that's a fucking... Don't you think that's a flag somewhere? Flag on the fucking play, right? Flag on the play. There's a girl that's scared of the dark and she's out in it. Which means she ain't wanting to be. Which means something's keeping her from getting home. And yet, you want to call off a fucking search. For missing girls. Do y'all not know how this shit ends? Every time an Amber Alert goes off, every time a little kid comes up missing, nine times out of 10, they find them in a ditch, a pond, a lake, a river, an abandoned warehouse. What? On the uh, that one show that used to be on TV, the first 48, is the most critical. So don't you think maybe the first 6 to 12 would be just as fucking important? You are all grown fucking men with badges and the authority to do whatever the fuck you want to do. 
when what you fuck you wanted to do was go home. You want to take your fucking ass home because it was cold and dark. And you got half that fucking town that hunt that can give you all kind of light. They could have had four wheelers, motherfucking stadium lights, all kind of shit. Fucking night vision goggles. I got them at Walmart for $169. Why don't you buy, just, just buy a few pair of them motherfuckers? And then, and then you're gonna get on a on another YouTube channel and you're gonna like recant what you said. Oh, we left cops there. Oh, you did? Oh, so the cops you left there, they made sure that everybody that was searching that fucking night didn't come across the fucking bodies. And what? You fucking labeled every fucking foot that footstep they made, every fucking tree they touched, every fucking leaf they kicked over, every fucking stick they fucking moved. I got asked, well, wouldn't bridge guy have water on his pants and on his shoes? Yeah, probably. But if they ain't worried about the two girls fucking missing, and if everybody's going about their merry fucking day not thinking that there's some idiot out there trying to kill two girls, why the fuck would somebody be looking at somebody's shoes and pants and seeing if they're wet? If they can't get the fucking sketch right, how the fuck are they gonna know? You got volunteer firefighters, and you got family, and then you got people that had to work the next fucking day, staying out all night looking for the girls, while the people who get fucking paid to do this fucking shit go home. You want to know why people don't get fucking caught? You want to know why people still kill fucking kids, and why... Uh, capital punishment don't fucking work is because they don't use it right. Joel Guy Jr. cut his mama's head off and put it in a fucking crock pot on a stove. Life in prison. Chris Watts killed both of his little girls and his pregnant wife with a coffin birth. Life in prison. Jody Arias. Cut Travis Alexander's throat so deep, his head nearly come off. Life in prison. Capital punishment don't work because they don't fucking use it. fucking cops out here fucking pulling over every fucking brake light that's out over searching their fucking vehicles taking every fucking thing they got if they find a blunt roach your car is gone so is your money so is your fucking livelihood over a fucking blunt roach yet They ain't even fucking convicting Thomas Bruce yet. They just letting him sit in fucking jail for a while because of fucking COVID. Maybe if we started scaring these motherfuckers a little bit more, maybe if people like the fucking sheriff's department would get off their fucking ass and stop taking everybody's fucking shit and stop being assholes, and do their fucking job and save some fucking lives or just act like you generally fucking give a shit people wouldn't be so fucking hard on you but you have the fucking responsibility to protect and serve and you do fucking neither unless a crime falls in your fucking lap Chris White's gonna be trying to get a fucking mistrial 
because of the fucking cops leading him. Because y'all fucking led him. Y'all sitting there treating him like a fucking kid. Oh, we know she abused you and she was bossing you around. Well, maybe you should have been a fucking man, Chris. If you didn't like your situation, why the fuck you just leave? I didn't like my first marriage. I fucking got divorced. I didn't fucking cut her head off. I didn't fucking kill her. Just because I didn't want to fucking sleep.